वक्र तुण्य महाकार्य सूर्य कोटि सम प्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे देश सर्वदा आंगिक भुवनम्य वाचिक आहारी चंद्र दी तम नुम सात्विक शिव गुरब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षा पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्य मुरदे काम रूपिणी विद्यारंभ क्या सिद्धवत मे सदा ओं सहनावत सह नौन सह वीर कर वही तेजस्वी नही तमस्तो मा विदा वही ओम शांत शांत शांति हरि ओम श्री गुरु गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम हरि ओम सो लेट अस स्टार्ट टुडे क्लास चिन्मय इज नॉट लॉक्ड इन ओम सदा शिव समारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा सो वी नो दट ऑल द टीचिंग्स हैव कम फ्रॉम द आदि गुरु नन अदर देन शिवा हिमसेल्फ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ टीचर थ्रू हिम इन द मिडल इज शंकराचार्य एंड फॉर अस द through the guru parampara is swami paramarthananda guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat para brahma tasmay shri guruve namaha today we start with lingashtakam the first two verses we will be taking now uh, we have done this already but we we want to start once again the mantras and the explanation we will start with the first verse over to you vishvesh yes sir can you hear me sir yes go ahead introduction part uh, you you are chanting it or after it uh, it introducing the words okay uh, today we are going to be seeing the first verse of ningashtaka ashtagam is a poetic uh, composition in sanskrit of eight stanzas over or verses they were one of the favorite poetic instruments of the rishis sages of the past this is evident from the dozens of ashtagam found in the annals of the indian culture one such ashtagam that is beamed from temples across india is the shivalinga ashtagam penned by adi shankaracharya himself considered to be a lord shiva shivalinga ashtagam is a prayer offered to lord lord shiva in the form of linga meaning symbol in sanskrit the prayer is a declaration of faith obedience loyalty and devotion towards lord shiva brahma murari surashita lingam nirmal bhashita shobhita lingam janma ja dukha vinashaka lingam tat pranamami sada shiva lingam the meaning of this verse is i salute that eternal shiva lingam which is adored by lord brahma lord vishnu in the gods which is pure shining and well adorned and which destroys the sorrows associated with birth and human life i salute that eternal shiva lingam thank you thank you very much so children it the first verse starts actually in every verse it will be i salute this lord shiva shiva lingam and then explanation why you salute so here he is telling all the brahma vishnu all are all are praying to lord shiva because it takes away all the sorrows uh, of your life any sufferings in human life lingashtakam verse 2 today is uh, vinayak vinayak has prepared it over to you vinayak yes sir मुने प्रवराशितिंग काम दहन करुणा कललिंग रावण दर्प विनाशन लिंग तत्मा सदा शिवलिंग 
This link is an Ashtakam which was written by Ali Shankaracharya. He was considered to be an avatar of Lord Shiva. This Linga Ashtakam is a prayer offered to Lord Shiva in the form of Linga meaning symbol in Sanskrit. This prayer is a de declaration of faith, obedience, loyalty and devotion towards Lord Shiva. The meaning of the verse is as follows. I bow before the Sadashiva Lingam which is the eternal Lord Shiva with devotion. This Lingam is worshipped by the great sages and gods. It uh, destroys or burns the desire which is compa compassionate, which shows mercy, karma and the god of love. The Vatari object or the symbol of divine is a generative energy especially flash or fire object as a symbol of Shiva which is nothing but the Lingam Gun. This has destroyed the pride of demon Ravana. I sell you the eternal Shiva Lingam. Thank you. Thank you. Vinayak, let us see who is Vinayak. We have never seen you. Can you on the video? Sir, my webcam is not working. Okay, okay, Vinayak. Thank you, Vinayak. Very well explained. So, um, you know the story of how the pride of Ravana was uh, subdued by Shiva. So what happened? Shiva, the most devote of anyone is Ravana. Actually, Shiva is the most devoted person is Ravana. And he is not a demon. He is actually a Brahmin. He was the most learned person. The but he was a type of sage. But then yes. he... See, he was Satvik, then he became... Sir, wasn't Ravana... Sir, wasn't... So, didn't Ravana pay offerings to Durgama? No, wait, wait. One by one. Vishnu was saying he was Satvik, then... Then he became Rajasik. Then he became Tamasik, like that. Okay, very good. What do you want to say, Vishwastik? Sir, I've heard that like Ravana used to pray to a mother Durga. Okay, correct. So that is what is Rajasik. When you are trying to pray for something you want to have, it is Rajasik. That will come today. So what happened is, after getting a lot of boons from Shiva, he, uh, he thought, why not ask one more boon? And he went to this Kailasa where um, Shiva and Parvati were doing some chanting. And there... He was not allowed to meet them. He was obviously very proud of his boons already, which he has got received from so many times from Shiva himself. He said, okay, if they are not allowing me to see them, I will take them from through my balam, my strength. I'll carry them with me. So he tried to do that. And there was some kind of disturbance felt by Parvati. And Parvati said to Shiva, see what is happening. When he saw Ravana is doing this, he just put his one toe. You can see in the second picture, only a toe he put on the mountain. And Ravana with all his ten heads, ten arms fell down under the mountain. And they say that it was 1000 years he was there below the mountain to subdue his pride. So much pride he had. After that, you all know that he wanted to please Shiva to get out of this. And so he, with the help of his one head, he removed one head and with his uh, hamstring or the muscles of thighs, he pulled the tendons and he made a veena. And he wanted to sing Shiva Tandava Stotram with this veena as a musical instrument. And he pleased Shiva. And Shiva, you know, all he gets pleased very easily. So he was pleased and he uh, basically he also offered him the Shiva Linga to be taken to Sri Lanka. That is a story. Okay. One more story of a temple. Brahma Pureshwara temple will be explained by Shivang today. Shivang. Yes, sir, one minute. Go ahead. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Today I am going to explain about Brahmapureshwara Temple. The Brahmapureshwara Temple is a Hindu temple located in Tirupattur near Trichy, India. Worships believe that a person can change his fate by seeking the blessings of Lord Brahma at Sri Brahmapureshwara Temple, Tirup Tirupattur. History. Mythological references recount Lord Brahma's overwhelming pride as the creator of the universe. Lord Brahma felt that he was more prevailing than Lord Shiva, since he had the, had the supremacy of creation. This sense of pride provoked Lord Shiva, who destroyed. Lord Brahma's fifth head and also cursed him that he would lose his power of creation. After losing his fifth head and all his powers, Lord Brahma realized his mistake, privileged duty of creation was affected and so worshipped Lord Shiva at various places. During the course of his Pilgrimage, Lord Shiva visited Tirupattur and worshipped Lord Shiva with the Shivalingam under a Magia tree with water from a near, nearby tank, now called Brahma Tirtam. Brahma got the creation rights from Lord Shiva with a view to give Brahma equal status, Lord Shiva gave him five heads as he had. Brahma because became proud of this position, Shiva took off one head. Brahma also lost his creation job. Brahma sought relief and apologized for his folly. Lord Shiva advised Brahma to go to Tiru, Tirupattur on earth and worship him with 12 lingas, now called Dwadasa lingas, and offered relief. As Lord Shiva changed Brahma's own ba bad destiny, destiny. destiny, he was advised to sow in the case of devotees. As Brahma worshipped Shiva here, the Lord is named Brahma Pureshwara, Mother Goddess named Brahma Nayaki or Brahma Sampat Gauri. Deities of Temple The presiding deities of Lord Brahma Pureshwara tem Temple in the form of Swayambhu Lingam and Devi Brahma Sampat Gauri. There is a separate shrine for Lord Brahma. The idol of Lord Brahma is a medit meditative pose sitting in Padmasana on a lotus. The temple complex also has the Jiva Samadhi of Yogi Patanchali, the author of Yog Yoga Sotras. Thank you. Very good, very nice. Thank you very much, Shivang. It was a good story of Brahma. And do you know one Thank more you, one more Brahma temple is there? Somewhere. It is in Jaipur. It is in Jaipur, a place called Pushkar, if I am not wrong. Hello? Sir, is it Pushkar Temple? Yes, correct. Pushkar Temple in Jaipur. And also there is one more story linked to this. When Brahma and Vishnu were like, both of us, they were quarreling who is the greatest of all. And in that Shiva came for their help. And he said, whoever exactly measures my Shiva Linga, then they will be the greatest. Where Brahma actually 
did cheating he said i saw the depth i saw him i saw the end of the shivalinga and that's where he was given the punishment that no one will worship means he will not have that much worship uh, uh, devotee as vishnu you see vishnu temples are all over the country everywhere you will see vishnu temple even shiva temples but brahma temples are very few and that's why this important temple in trichy and also a one temple in Pushp- uh, pushkar so let us come to our class we have already seen those who were not there in the last class for them a small revision this is the chapter named shraddha traya vibhaga yoga in the first verse arjuna ask one question what happens to those illiterate illiterate meaning not by studies academics by spiritual illiterate those who don't follow the guidelines given in the scriptures like those who don't read bhagavad gita what happens to them they have they do worship they do bhakti where they fall into which category they fall into satvik rajasik or tamasik now why do we want to know this because we are all growing children right you are all going to grow up become adult do the work you are going to have your own life you should know what is do's and don'ts in life that's why we should listen to bhagavad krishna's bhagavad gita where he has given all the do's and don'ts especially in this chapter he is going to explain us what is satvik rajasik tamasik faith your shraddha that depends upon lot of things and also he divides ahara that is food then tapas danam and i think worship all these three things are divided into three uh, subdivided into satvik rajasik tamasik depending upon what is the way you are doing the worship what is the way you are eating in today's class we will see about ahara food then from second verse he explains that all human beings come with three four, four faith means it is about your nature first is explain everyone nature is different some children sit quietly some children always want to run away here and there and some children want to sleep so satvik rajasik tamasik depends upon your nature and very beautifully pragna has explained about satvik as rama who always follows dharma then bishma he she explained as rajasik and duryodhana i think the kamsa she explained as tamasik because kamsa was always going to kill someone he always want to fight with someone the ideal way is to worship scriptures but if you can't worship scriptures like those kids those your friends many of them don't know bhagavad gita or they don't follow anything what for them then they will go according to their instinct like animals go according to their instinct they eat whatever they get they sleep wherever they can they go they don't follow guidelines they don't follow any pattern that is not the ideal way so and he also gives a warning tam shrunu in the second verse he says please listen carefully if you want to understand listen carefully that's why we all have got two ears two eyes and only one mouth to speak so most of the things we should listen then we see it whether it is true then we speak so he says listen carefully otherwise we are animal instinct people third verse again he starts explaining he says that those who believe in themselves those who believe in god firmly they will go to they will be satvik and especially he 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 uh, calls arjuna as bharata said can also not be like one person is not doing the job which he is supposed to do like prime minister playing cricket cricketer doing uh, accounts like that correct so you should not change your shraddha or you should you should follow what a human being has to follow and that's why he calls specifically in this verse bharata o oh, bharata arjuna has many names one of them is bharata because we are from bharat 
now the name is changed after 1947 india but it was bharat you can see the map it extended almost entire this half uh, which we have not there pakistan here all the uh, nepal burma sir, afghanistan also afghanistan correct sir it was extended to many countries like bangladesh myanmar afghanistan pakistan like that correct. now it's separated now so it's separated uh, subcontinent indian subcontinent correct now it is and sir sir before for like before when like uh, when humans are not there even like uh, like the early early humans were also not there hmm. that time like india was its own continent oh correct correct so, so big it was its own continent that time there were just there were eight continents yeah right so coming back to this word bharata bha means brahma vidya representing the scriptural knowledge and ratha the one who revels in it the one who completely understands and b- follows it so all of you who are the part of bharata actually all of us can be named as bharata who are studying brahma vidya and who are anchored in it who are firmly believing in this and then transferring it to the surrounding whoever people are following it so he explains this bharata so remember this word bharata so it's very important for us to know why our country was called bharata sir we can't forget our country's name how can we forget like suppose uh, how suppose now our country's name is india so hmm. how will a person forget the name of india i mean the not remember the meaning you remember sir the meaning it can be Uh, we can um, it, we might not remember but name we will remember it's like that okay so, so remember- like in so like india has been like strong from like the starting of its civilization mm. the, like the attacks from alexander and then the mughal invasion the india has survived all of those so then uh, so if they can't uh, survive that what can they not survive correct so he says as you are shraddha that you become so all this big tennis player badminton player they know early their nature and they follow it so once you know it early it is better because you don't get medals just after playing straight away at 25 years you start playing uh, tennis and you will get medal no there is hey. lots of hard work so hey, whoever like whoever get good playing like now virat and uh, pv sindhu and all like they they practice from childhood correct so sir, like what... when sachin tendulkar was young like he practiced from day to night exactly so children you have to have practice so this that's only is called god of cricket he is not called it for no reason right correct so if you don't practice things correctly so getting up early uh doing your homework or when you are playing coming back to your ho- home in time and if you don't do that then what will happen is you will be like the pet which is untrained your mind becomes like the pet who is untrained and it will always wander away from the subject yes, sir um, it is i think it is your uh, desires or something which is a pet because your mind is the owner Sir, uh, can... the pet is chasing, uh, like making you run. Your desires are making you run. Sir, it will be so like you don't have a trained mind. Sir, Correct. It will not be that pet is like on us. It will be like the pet is controlling us. Correct. So here, what I'm just trying to tell you is, sir, the pet is desire and us. We are us. Yes. So we, as a human being, have a higher uh, uh, force that is intellect. see mind is something uh, again mind can be trained untrained but intellect there is one uh, one specific thing only human being has intellect where he knows what is right and what is wrong sir once internet intellect is lost hmm. it will take lots of time to regain it again yes so mind can be trained uh, by continuous practice 
so you practice every day then only one day you will achieve what is uh, said in the scripture so practice important and why this all is important because mind from mind only thoughts arise once you have thoughts in the mind like i i have to come first in the running race then you start telling that okay i will i am going to have a race on this and this date so you start words you use words this words repeatedly make you do action after repeatedly actions that becomes your habit you will get up every day early you will practice every day that habit will uh, nurture you and this habit slowly will become your character even the racing is over you have come first you will still continue to do that sir even if we sir even if we come fourth or fifth still we will practice to get best yeah. next time but this is about example is about cricket or play but same thing should happen with your studies yeah, same thing can happen with our mind also mind that's what all thoughts comes from mind but what i'm trying to tell you children see your desk today last time also i said see the start from your home see your desk whether it is clean whether you have kept it tidy whether things are in place your cupboard is nicely neatly kept all the books and your uh, clothes whether your room mother has to come and clean this also is a practice so please practice thoughts then words and action it sir, comes one after the other sir it comes thought word action character personality yes so if you are if your room is not uh, clean that means your thoughts are not up, uh, correctly going because you are uh, living in a unclean place you will be having sir, this thoughts. like just shows that like even one of the smallest things uh, can make a huge difference yeah correct yes, correct correct sir yeah who is that i have one doubt yes so uh, usually i stay silent sometimes i uh, talk in the bus but usually i stay silent it mm. has been like that since i attended like uh, offline class so mm. i already had my personality without thought so, uh, so i knew so um, uh, is it because i had that thought once or was it because i just um, went there i don't know okay you mean that you are already without knowing this your personality was to be silent right yes in so the- that's that's not only because of this janma many janmas we have so many uh, memories okay and habits which we take from not from this janma many many janmas so you may be a uh, satvik purush from last janma and you are continuing it okay do you get me yes sir i get i will we'll discuss it okay and fourth verse anand and sahana they explained about satvik rajasik and tamasik worship in short okay we have seen it tamasik is by doing harm to yourself and others rajasik is doing a lot of noise creating a lot of uh, pomp and show disturbing others okay not thinking about others and satvik is doing mental worship more of mental worship and less of physical worship silent meditation yes that is satvik now we start with fifth verse today so i hope you understood what was the chapter's name why it is called trayam shraddha traya vibhaga yoga what is shraddha means that is faith and also we have discussed a bit of worship and in further like a bonus krishna will tell us about ahara tapas danam and in details he will explain uh, over to you arsh first madam will help you chant then you explain okay yes sir hmm. hari om shri guru bhyo ashastra vihitam ghoram tapyante ye tapo janah dambha hankara samyukta 
Kamaragabalanvitaha. Children, here, all the one, the letters which are marked with green, highlighted with green, they are to be pronounced as Mahaprana. You have to stress that particular letter, alphabet. Ashastravihitam ghoram. Ashastra vihitam ghoram. See, Ashastra, no, Ashastra vihitam ghoram. Ashastra vihitam ghoram. Tapyante tapo, tapyante ye tapo janaha. Tapyante ye tapo jana. Janaha. Jana. Janaha, H-E, you have to pronounce. Janaha. Janaha. Dham Dambaha samyuktaha. Dham Dambaha samyukta. Samyuktaha. Samyukta. Dambaha samyukta. samyukta. Kamaraga Balan Vitaha Kamaraga Balan Vitaha Kamaraga Balan Vitaha Kamaraga Balan See, Balan Vitaha H is there, no? Yeah. After T A H, there is a dot under H. That means before that vowel is long vowel A. So you have to pronounce it as Balanvi Taha. Yes, Taha. Yes. Okay. Kamaraga Balanvi Taha. Kamaraga Balanvi Taha. Taha. You should repeat that. Yes. Yeah. Kamaraga Balan Vita Balan Vit. Okay. Okay. Uh, let us all chant together. Yes. Ashastra Vihitam Ghoram. Tapyante ye tapo janaha. Tapyante ye tapo janaha. Dambha hankara samyuktaha. Dambha hankara samyuktaha. Kamaraga balanvitaha. Okay. Aditi, when you are saying, say with all of us together, okay? Don't extend, uh, okay, Aditi? Try to be the all of us. Okay, Ash, go ahead. Yes. Some people practice severe austerity, which is not prescribed in the scriptures. They are given to pretension and egoism and are possessed by the impulse of desire and attachment. Okay, thank you. Aditi, you will explain in details. Yes, Uncle. Hariyo, Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha. In verse 5 and 6, Shri Krishna talks about Rajasik and Tamasik forms of worship based on the mode and the motive. We have already seen the object of worship. A quick recap on the motive of the worship. Motive is also called Sankalpa. If my motive is spiritual growth, then it is Sattvic motive. If it is for material growth like wealth and success, etc., it is Rajasic motive. And if it is for destruction of others, it is Tamasic motive. In the mode of worship, it is sattvic mode if the mind is calm and turned inwards. There will be less noise with sattvic mode. If there is too much noise, like Ganesha or Durga Pandals, 
and if these are a lot of rituals then it is rajasic motive more if the verse one second If the worship involves torture of body, hurting oneself or others, it comes under tamasic mode of worship. Krishna says both rajasic and tamasic worship involve violation of scriptural rules and regulation. Shri Krishna uses the word ashastra vihitam, ghoram, which means terrible or frightening forms of worship. Some people walk on burning coal or fire, or some people pierce knife or sharp trishula through the cheek. Some people cut their tongue, sacrificing animals to God. All of these are ghoram, severe tapas. Some people will fast for days together. Some people will stand at one place for months as a form of tapas. And all of this is punishing one's own body to extreme level, which is tamasic mode of worship. They do all of this for punishability, as a show off to tell others how great tapasvis they are. This is called damba ahankara samyuktaha. Their desire is not moksha at all. Their desire is kama raga balanvitaha worldly fame or money they they are selfish or destructive they have selfish and destructive mind examples are ravana hiranyakashipu and many more rakshasas who were all worshiping god but with rajasic and tamasic motive and more we need to monitor ourselves constantly to not let Ravana or Hiranyakashyapu influence our mind. Mind Harim. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much, Arsh. And thank you, Aditi, to explain so well. And as we have seen, the last was worship. And then this is Tapaha. Tapaha means uh, austerity means you are doing something uh, which like people travel, uh, they go to Everest, Mount Everest. You know, it is so painful to go to Mount Everest peak. Some people even die doing that. Some people lose the fingers or toes. But they get a uh, feeling of pleasure. They get happiness. Same way, Tapaha is done. For example, if you do Upfas, you, the one day you fast. You are actually having hunger pangs, uh, but still you are always wanting to, uh, you know, increase your strength. So that is what is tapa means. Now here, example of Ravana was very well explained by Vishnu also. He said Ravana was initially like this figure on the left. He was doing sattvic tapa. Then slowly he became rajasik. He wanted more and more boons from Lord Shiva. So standing on one leg causing pain to his body, uh, making her, himself uncomfortable, making the Lord also uncomfortable by sacrificing his own head. And finally, what happened? He became tamasic. He, in fact, wanted to lift the Lord only and take him. So this one Ravana himself explains all the three Rajas, Sattvic, Rajasic and Tamasic Tapaha. Coming to sixth verse, and this is going to be I think Sushti is there, but she uh, she has some other things to do today. So we'll directly go to Madam Mithila. will chant with you and then she will explain the verse. Okay, sir. Sushti, are you... First, let me chant. I'm, I'm just a minute. Sushti? Yeah. Ah, she's there. Okay. Just listen. Okay. okay. Karshayanta Sharirastham Bhota Bhuta grama macheta saha Mam chaivan tashari rastham Tan vidya sura nishchay Karshayan tashari rastham 
Nitila, you are there. Vinayak's sister. Does uh, should uh, Shruti chant or should I chant? You chant. Shruti, Shruti, you are ready to chant? I think she has some work today. You chant, uh, Nitila. No problem. Yeah, okay, sir. Kashyanta Sharirastam. Sharirastam. That green market should be there for Tha, Mahapran Tha. Sharirastam. Very good. Bhuta Grama Macheta Saha. Bhuta Grama Macheta Saha. Mam Chaivanta Sharirastam. Mam Chaivanta Sharirastam. Tan Vidya Sura Nishayan. Tan Vidya Sura Nishayan. Vidhyasura, Dhya Mahaprana. Vidhyasura Nishayan. Correct. Okay. Now let us all chant together. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Let her. See, in this uh, slide, we are seeing all the green ones. That is, you have to stress. Mahaprana. Karshayan Tashari Rastham. Bhuta Grama Macheta Saha. Bhuta Grama Macheta Saha. See, it's a Bhuta Bha is highlighted. So you have to stress. So wherever you see a green one, let us stress that uh, alphabet. Bhuta Grama Macheta Saha. Bhuta Grama Macheta Saha. Manchai Vanta Shari Rastham. Manchai Vanta Shari Rastham. Tan Vidya Sura Nishayan. Okay. Okay. Explanation by Nitila. Go ahead, Nitila. Yes, sir. The meaning of this verse is Shri Krishna says, Oh Arjuna, I'm telling you that faith is visible even in people who perform severe austerity. It is proper basis of knowledge. Thus, Faith is the mood of ignorance. Those who abuse and torture their body, disrespect the supreme soul who resides within all these are contrary to the recommended path of scriptures. These are performed by Achetasaha people. Now Karshayantaha, torturing the body like pulling hooks all over the body or shulam through the tongue and many more such terrible actions. Swami Paramarthan mentions here that while in Himalayas, one can see many such terrible torrents being done to the human body. Once, Swamiji saw on the way to Badrinath a sadhu who never sits or lies down, all the time standing on a hood and blank, hanging on a tree branch, sleeps also while standing. His leg was swollen and he was doing tapas. Swami Paramarthananda says this says this is all due to ignorance and illiteracy regarding religion and spirituality. Hence, people are also illiterate here. They consider such people as great. This is nothing other than torturing the body. Thus, the body is a gift from the God. Any type of puja, bratam or tapas can be made without torturing the body. Without a proper health body, nothing can be done. It is insult to the body and insult to the God. Lord Krishna says, they are indirectly hurting me. Antasharirastam, who is treated in their own body when they are hurting such devotees are Asura Nishchayan, that is devotees of Asuric Resolve, Negative Resolve, Violent Resolve and it will come under Rajasik and Tamasik Shraddha. So we have to understand here that any type of puja for spiritual growth is Sattvic, for material benefit is Rajasik and for harming others is Tamasik. Haryom Dhaniyavad. Excellent and uh, nice to see that you have read from Swamiji's book, Swami Paramarthananda Ji. So the, the idea of this verse is where to know what is right worship. So can you tell me which is the right worship out of these three? 
ओके स्वास्तिक यू टेल मी व्हाट इज सात्विक वर्शिप अकॉर्डिंग टू यू सर सात्विक वर्शिप वुड बी लाइक अ साइलेंट प्रेयर टू टू लाइक अ गॉड सो टू लाइक आस्क फॉर लाइक हाउ टू लाइक अचीव मोक्षा ओके एंड आर्श कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट वुड बी राजसिक वर्शिप यस सर राजसिक वर्शिप व्हाट डू यू थिंक व्हाट विल बी राजसिक वर्शिप Yes. Yes. They tell the time is inside caves, and they will uh, dedicate most of their life to gods, and they will pray a lot. Um, could not hear you properly. Vishnu, can you uh, Vishnu? Just a minute. Can you mute? Okay. So, Rajasik worship is more for praying material thing. Like after worshiping God, I want this. so everything you want for yourself you are not harming anyone but you are asking everything for your benefit that is rajasik worship and uh, aloki what can you tell about ram tamasik worship um so her um they um harm others mm-hmm. and they are they are always think about their self not about others if they only harm yes they don't think before harming how would the other person will yeah. feel they are indiscriminate this word was used no achetasa sir yes sir can sir can i explain tamasik in it yeah okay way? okay sir tamasik is in the way that people harm themselves and harm god in hmm. indirectly hmm and they don't pray but they pray for the three gates of hell correct what are the three gates to hell uh ragamoha shoka correct good more so more we will know in the future the uh, sir you have raised hand you want to say something uh, sir about rajasik hmm go ahead materialistic growth is um, they expect something after doing something they don't je- do it for uh, the per- so suppose uh, you help your classmate expecting mm. something in return mm. you don't do it to help them you have a good motive you want something in return so oh, you're doing correct. something for expecting something else correct correct right and you are doing only for your own self satvik is praying for everyone सर्वे भवन्तु सुकिनः सर्वे सन्तु नाम सा सा सात्विक इज लाइक सात्विक इज लाइक पीपल हु हेल्प अदर्स बट डोंट नीड एनीथिंग इन रिटर्न सो फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट टाइम डोंट टेक एनी रिटर्न गिफ्ट्स विल यू नॉट विल यू टेक रिटर्न गिफ्ट्स नो आंसर फ्रॉम यू विष्णु सर आई इफ दे गिव आई टेक इफ दे डोंट गिव आई नॉट टेक <laughs> good answer okay okay just i was joking you take all the great and gifts don't worry you are a small child so how can you tell no no that's why okay okay good answer let us go to uh, 17.7 uh, verse as usual our chinmay when she is not, given a verse she is absent anyway so madam raghav yes, varshney will uh, raghav you are ready for the chanting Raghav was there today. I saw him. Raghav, can you on the mic? Okay. If Raghav is not ready, can I request uh, who wants to chant with ma'am? Me. Ah. Uh, okay. Aditi has raised the hand first. Aditi, go ahead. chant with nam okay ahara sat ahara stvapi sarvasya trividho bhavati priya yagnas tapas tatha danam tesham bhe mimam shruno 
ஆஹாரஸ்வி சர்வசிய ஆஹாரஸ்வி பிரியஸ்தபஸ்தானம் ஆஹாரஸ்வி ஆஹாரஸ்வியஸ்தபஸ்தானம் ஓகேபடி and yagna austerity and charity are also divided we have to hear about their division excellent so now children this is a very important part of this chapter especially for young kids who are developing their health isn't it we are you must be all 4 feet 5 feet or whatever 5 and a half but your growth has not completed it will only complete by 16 17 or 18 years sir so, it will like when we will be like adult then to, when we will be like uh, very very old uh, like grandpas and all then like our growth will stop correct sir it will be like now we are gaining strength one time we'll have lots of strength and then we'll start losing strength it's like excellent that. so you are in the phase of growth so one important thing for this body is food right everyone agrees that so children this this next few verses are so important i have requested uh, dr ahalya ma'am maybe next class she will come and tell about ahara food and can anyone tell me what does ahara really mean sir i forgot you told me about for you வெரி <laughs> கேர்ஃபுல்லி <laughs> so there are four more characters of uh, four more things to be known and then the character of the person will understand depending upon ahara yagna tapasa and dana, dana. all are divided again three satvik rajasik tamasik i will not go in details uh, through this slide because it is very crowded but we will learn from one one uh, verse so satva is told in eighth rajasik is told in 9th and explained in 10th 9th 10th is explained tamasik ahara sir uh, atharva you will chant with ma'am after ma'am and then we will all chant okay ma'am over to you rama ma'am okay sorry no. uh, in this 8th shloka we have to chant the first line complete in one breath you cannot break the word okay so ayus satva balarogya sukha preeti vivardhana okay athar can you shall i teach you the whole line or shall i break okay let me break ayus satva 
Ayusatwa. Bala rogya. Bala rogya. Sukha. Sukha. Preeti vivardhanaha. Preeti vivardhanama. Vivardhanaha. Vivardhanaha. Okay. Now let me teach you the full line. Ayusatwa bala rogya sukha. Preeti vivardhanaha. Ayu sattva balaruya sukha priva viva dhanaha. Correct. Let me teach you again. Don't break the word before sukha, okay? Don't break the line. Ayu sattva. Tvabala rogya sukha priti vivardhana ha. Ayu sattva biho bilo ha. Balaro. Raha kusha kusha priti vivardhana. Ma'am. Vardhana. Yeah. I think he is very new to the class. Can we ask Narayani or someone to chant with you? So that oh yes, no problem, sir. Narayani, go ahead. Sir, I want to do. Narayani had raised the hand. We will just give a chance. Okay. No, no problem, sir. Vishnu can do. Okay, Vishnu, go ahead. Ayu Sattva. Ayu Sattva. Bala Rogya. Bala Rogya. Sukha. Sukha. Preeti Vivardhanaha. Preeti Vivardhanaha. Let me, let us try to chant the full line. I will first say, then you repeat, okay? Okay. Ayu Sattva Bala Rogya Sukha. Preeti Vivardhanaha. Ayu Sattva Bala Rogya Sukha Preeti Vivardhanaha. Sukha Preeti Vivardhanaha. Sukha Preeti Vivardhanaha. Correct. Rasyas Nigdhas Thiraf Rudhya. Rasyas Nigdhas. <laughs> okay. Rasyas Nigdhas. Rasyas Nigdhas. Thira Vrudhya. Thira Rudhya. Thira. The TH is Mahaprana. Okay. Thira Rudhya. Thira Rudhya. Ahara Satvika Priyaha Ahara Satvika Priyaha Ahara Satvika Priyaha Ahara Priyaha Yeah, this one is very simple verse, but you have to say the continuity in continuous, you know, the first line. So you have to be Slowly practice. Ma'am, can I sing? Vardhana. Ma'am, can I chant the full verse once? Can I try? Okay. Yeah. Ayu sattva bala rogya sukha priti vi vardhana ha rasya snikdhas tir Hridya Ahara Satvika Priyaha Very good. Preeti Vivardhanaha. Okay? Okay. Now let us all chant together. Ayo Satva Bala Rogya Sukha Preeti Vivardhanaha Ayo Satva Bala Rogya Sukha Preeti Vivardhanaha Rasya Snigdhas Thira Vrudhya Rasya Snigdhas Thira Vrudhya 
ಆಹಾರ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೇಡಮ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟುಡೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನೈನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಅನ್ವಿತ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಯು ಅಥರ್ ಸಾರಿ ಸರ್ ಐಮ್ ಲೇಟ್ ಯಾ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ Uh, Athar, yes, yes. You, you will start the next class. We will do this verse again. It's a very important verse. Let us start the next class with this because it's 9.15. Nayana, you also be ready with the explanation. Okay. And hopefully, yes, ma'am, she's a principal of Ayurvedic College. Doctor, uh, she has come last time also. I will, I will invite her. She will speak about this Ahara part. Okay. So let us go to the chanting. Nayana, can you chant our last uh, mantra, please? Okay, sir. One. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಯು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ರಮ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸರ್ Hari Om. No, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. It was so nice. Hari Om, sir. I, I sometimes miss the slides. Hari Om, sir.